God sent you here to tell this man that you still believe in the vision, you still believe in the unction, you still believe in what God started since 1987. As our day, so shall our strength be. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. I pray now in the name of the Lord Jesus that the rod and the staff of Jehovah will comfort you tonight. Will comfort you and surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord. The devil will pay for this. For six of our children, we shall take six thousand souls. We shall take sixty thousand souls. We shall take six million souls. Are you listening to me? For except the grain of corn fall into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it falls into the ground and dies, then it bears much fruit. The time of our unprecedented fruitfulness is now. The time for unprecedented growth and unprecedented increase is now. Receive in your heart a new faith. Receive in your heart a new commitment. Receive in your heart a new anointing. Come on, shout it! Yes. Welcome to a powerful encounter with the Word of God. Brought to you by Eastwood Annabelle. has cursed you i don't care who has said anything about you witches and wizards and magicians and diviners i decree a dispensation of mercy upon your life i say your sins are forgiven go and sin no more i hear the words of jesus neither do i condemn you go and sin no more your sin and your transgression is taken away from you as far as the east is from the west though your sin be like crimson and though your sin be red i see them white as snow i see them white as wool i see your forgiveness i hear the blood on the cross of calvary on the hill of golgotha two thousand years ago and i hear the voice of the messiah crying out on the cross it is finished and when he said it is finished your sins were forgiven i'm talking tonight about your savior seated at the right hand of the throne of god the father who said you are forgiven who said you are delivered there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but who walk after the spirit ah the law of god the law of christ the law of the blood the law of grace has made you free from the law of sin and death we are looking for people in our time who seek the glory of god and they seek the liberation and the emancipation of mankind god is looking for people who will set the holy ghost loose in the church and they will bring about the blessing of god upon a nation and i see you as one of those that god will elect in the last days a man who has no title but you have the fire a man who has no position but you have the power a man who has no recognition but you carry the discernment of the holy ghost i'm talking about somebody here people don't call you greater but there is none 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 in the world that is greater than you they don't carry you on a palanquin but you are carried in the wings of the holy ghost for they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary if they walk they shall not fit i see a man here today a woman here today you are not worried about the crown that man will put upon your head jesus didn't bother about the crown he didn't want human beings crown and when he stood up to speak he didn't say the crown of man is upon my head but he said the spirit of the lord is upon me may you receive the spirit i see the spirit of the lord upon you the bible didn't say behold now are we the bishops of god and now are we the pastors of god he said behold 
Now are we the sons of God? And I'm talking about a son of God. You are bigger than a king. You are bigger than a priest. You are bigger than a pastor. You are bigger than an apostle. You are bigger than a bishop. You are a child of the Most High God. All I want to be is a vessel in the hands of God. For in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but of earth and of wood. Some to honor and others to dishonor. I choose to be a man unto honor. I choose to be a vessel unto honor. I don't care what you call me as long as I do what God wants me to do. You can take away your title, take away your position, take away your chair. All I want is to be in the will of God. As for us who believe in God, as for us who look unto God, we don't want somebody to be a king over us and we don't care who is the president and who is the prime minister and who is the vice president and who is the MP and who is the prime parliamentarian. We don't care because we know that our blessing, our breakthrough, our favor does not come from a president, vice president, politician, MP, assemblyman. We know that our help comes from Almighty God. I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from God. Give me a break. A president does not build a country. A vice president does not build a country. A parliamentarian does not build a country. No political party can build a country except the Lord build a house. They never invent that building. And except the Lord watch over the city, the watchman worketh but in vain. Therefore, some post in chariots, others in political positions, others as MPs. But we will post ourselves in the name of the Lord. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my stronghold. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are safe. Ghana, we don't need a political party. Ghana, we don't need a human president. Ghana, we don't need human parliamentarians. Somebody hear the sound of my voice and I'm talking to Ghana. I'm talking to Africa. Ghana, hear me. Africa, hear me. The nations of the world, hear me. The Lord is the king of all the universe. He that seated upon the circles of the earth, the most high God, he alone is God. He alone is God. He alone is God. He alone is God. And he alone can help us. I don't need all the things you can give me as a king. I don't need you to bring me food. I don't need you to bring me protection. I don't need you to give me things that they give to a king. I don't need you to come massage my ego. Try to shoot my pride. And tell me who I am when I am not that thing. I don't need you to make me that. I am greater than that. I'm about to walk on water. I'm about to rebuke a storm don't stop me from entering my destiny because when you accept the flattering titles of men your maker will cut you away if you accept the flattering titles of men you will not enter your destiny be careful what they are trying to make you be careful what they are pushing you into be careful what they are trying to do to you they look like they are trying to make you a king they look like they are trying to give you a position but they are killing you they are taking your life away from you but i see you shout i am free i see you shout i am liberated stand fast in the liberty wherein christ has made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage he who the son has set free is free indeed i want to hear somebody scream i know that you are more than a king and i'm saying to someone sitting here you are more than a king kings talk to human beings but you have the power jesus spoke to a tree and jesus spoke to the wind and he spoke to the storm and he spoke to demons and i'm saying to someone here tonight you are but jesus the son of god the bread of god the bread of life from heaven he came to the earth and when he died they buried him in the tomb and that tomb is like the oven where you put some bread to bake it and then he descended into the pits of hell into Hades to get our salvation and free us from satanic bondage and everybody thought that just as the manna got rotten Jesus was going to get rotten in the tomb but alas the Bible said because thou will not leave my soul in hell neither will thou suffer that holy one to see corruption thou hast 
has made known unto me the ways of life thou shalt make me full of joy with your countenance anything that comes from heaven does not get rotten anything that comes from heaven does not see corruption and right now i'm speaking to you that god will give you a blessing that god will give you something from heaven and the thing that god gives you from heaven it will not see corruption your gift will not see corruption your anointing will not see corruption your wisdom will not see corruption it will not get stinky it will not be destroyed we see that manifestation of god i'm casting out devils by heavenly authority that means i have the right to do what i am doing i have been sent to do what i'm doing god called me to do what i'm doing by what authority are you preaching in bogatanga by what authority are you preaching where you are preaching by what authority are you casting out devils by what authority are you doing business by what authority are you doing what you are doing you are doing it by god's authority god sent you god empowered you god told you to do it and when god tells you to do it no man can stop it i'm talking to somebody here today you have heavenly authority come on somebody shout authority when jesus operated on earth because his authority was from heaven no human being on earth could overrule him and no demons and principalities from hell could overrule him because his authority was from heaven he was operating from heaven and when the father says it it is done thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven listen god gave you authority to sell in the market to make profit in the market god gave you authority to set up a school and no devil can stop you god gave you authority to be a pastor in bogatanga whether they like you or not your authority does not come from them but your authority comes from god the assembly has not authorized you but god has authorized you and today i hear angels are standing in heaven and whatsoever you are doing for god i hear the angel say amen i hear the angel say amen i hear the angel say amen i hear the angel say so be it so be it so be it keep on doing it so be it no devil can stop you no principality can stop you no power can stop you god sent you god authorized you god said do it god said i give you the mandate to do it audacity from god the holy ghost i'm operating from heaven god the father gave me authority and the holy ghost has given me audacity are you listening to me audacity means what i'm doing i don't care how you feel what i'm doing is risky but i'm not afraid i fear no man i fear no devil i fear no principality i'm ashamed of no man i'm ashamed of no woman circumstances don't threaten me demons don't intimidate me men don't make me cower and back back because i have the audacity from heaven i am a risk taker i can take risk i can go through danger and when i go through danger by the holy ghost yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runs over but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn and i shall be anointed with fresh oil jesus of nazareth a man anointed with the holy ghost how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost who went about who went about and from today i see you with the audacity you are operating from heaven you will go about you will go about the flesh cannot go about but if you are with the spirit you can go about when jesus was in the spirit he went through a wall he went to a house and the door was shut and the windows were shut and he went through the wall when you are in the spirit you don't need an open door and you don't need an open window to enter some places you will go through a wall and i see somebody here tonight from today you are unstoppable you don't need a politician to open a door for you 
You don't need a rich man to open a door for you. And you don't need any macho man to open a door for you. He said, Jesus of Nazareth, a man anointed with the Holy Ghost and power who went about. I see you going about. I see you going wherever you want to go. I see you eating whatever you want to eat. I see you saying whatever you want to say. I see you going about, going about, going about. I see you in China. I see you in Tokyo. I see you in Spain. I see in America. I see in Britain. For the earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. The world that they that dwell therein. I see you in all the continents of the world. I see your business in every continent of the world. Receive that audacity. You fear no devil. You fear no principality. You fear no power. I fear no demon. That is what you are saying. You fear no devil. You fear no foe. You are brave. You are courageous. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Come on, shout yes. I see them. I see them. Diviners. I see them. Witches and wizards. I see them. Principalities and powers. And they are trying to stop you. I see them. Opposers of anything good. And they are putting stumbling blocks on your way. And they are telling you. You cannot do it. But your God. You shall run through the truth. And by your God. You shall leap over the world. Whatsoever is born of God. Overcome the world. You are operating from heaven. Nothing shall stop you. Receive audacity from the Holy Ghost in heaven the Bible said and on the day of Pentecost the sound as of a rushing mighty wind from heaven came into the place and they were filled and the Bible said they stood up they stood up they stood up I see somebody you've been sitting but you are not standing up you've been lying down but you are not standing up you gave up but you are not standing up come on shout yes From the Father, audacity from the Holy Ghost. There are three that bear record in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And these three are one. If you really came from heaven, three things authority from the Father, audacity from the Holy Ghost, and number three, authenticity from the Word of God. I am authentic not because I'm a fra fra but because of the word I speak I am authentic not because of education but because of the word I speak I am authentic not because I'm intelligent baby you are you are authentic not because of the church you attend but because of the word you speak the bible said in john 3 verse 34 for he whom god has sent speaketh the words of god for god giveth not the spirit unto him by measure listen you are speaking the word of god you are speaking the word of god that word is authentic that word is authentic forever oh god that word is settled in heaven forever oh god that word is settled in heaven Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and that word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. I tell you something today, because of the word you speak, because of the word you speak, I know uh, I am nothing in myself. Uh, I know I'm not smart. I'm not intelligent. I am not strong in myself. Uh, but because of the word I speak, uh, I am authentic. Uh, somebody is here today. You are authentic. Uh, you are authentic because of the word. Uh, you are authentic because of the word. Uh, receive now tonight uh, the authority from God the Father. 
Authority from God the Holy Ghost. Authenticity from the Word of God. Anything you are doing in life, speak the Word. In your ministries, speak the Word. In your families, speak the Word. In your business, speak the Word. In your life, speak the Word. In politics, speak the Word. In your academics, speak the Word. Whatsoever you do, speak the Word. And anybody who speaks the Word, you are authentic. And no devil, nothing can stop you. Come on, shout it! Yeah. May the war alarm, the sound of war. May God blow a trumpet of battle in your spirit. Wake up the mighty men. Wake up the mighty men of war. Let the intercessors come alive. Let the lion preachers. Let the lion preachers and the tiger preachers. Let the tiger militias. And let the lion militias come alive in the house. May God raise the archers and the shooters in the church. Receive that anointing now. This land must be reached. There must be businesses on the land. The prosperity on the land must be released. Schools must be built on the land. Educational institutions must be built on the land. Our politics on the land must mature I command the wealth and the potential of the land to come alive and if the potential and the wealth of the land will come alive then you and I must eschew our selfish interest we must stop pursuing our own interest we must stop seeking the things we want for ourselves and every one of us will say here now is the time now is the hour this is the time to forget about our differences there are shall the ever the the bullsa the moshi the frafra the casino this is the time to throw away our party colors mpp ndc cpp the time has come for you to demystify yourself demilitarize yourself the time has come for you to throw away your political colors the southern part of ghana can meddle in politics the southern part of ghana can afford to let politics uh, and football clubs uh, divide them uh, because they are more than enough. Uh, the southern part of Ghana can allow tribalism, Mamprusi and Kusasi to divide them uh, in the south uh, because they are more than enough. But over here, we have seen too much poverty. We have seen too much illiteracy. We have seen too much idolatry. We have seen too much rural urban migration. It is time to come together. Let every wall of partition come down. The fortune of strategic alliances. I see the Mampruses and the Bulsas coming together. I see the Kusasis and the Mampruses coming together. I see the Casinas and the Frafres coming together. I see the Fantis and the Cancer coming together on the land. And there is only one unifying force throughout the entire universe. And that unifying force is life in Christ. For there is neither male nor female in Christ. There is neither Greek nor Jew in Christ. There is neither born nor free in Christ, but all are made one through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see every wall is coming down. I beseech you, therefore, that through loneliness and meekness and long suffering, forbear one another. For there is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one Father, one Lord, one faith one baptism one god and one father of all who is through all and in you all and working through all of us ah, right now i command father and mother to come together brother and sister to come together in laws to come together i say to every spirit of war i say to the land of Boku, let there be peace let there be peace peace be still in the name of jesus christ I say to now every political storm I say to the greed of politicians I say to the greed of hungry people that are causing trouble in our region with regional ministers and political parties I say let there be peace I address every principality I address every power right now 
the storm is over 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 the greed is over the confusion is over the war is over the bloodshed is over there may be somebody here tonight who is carrying a problem which no man can deliver you from your husband cannot deliver you from it your father cannot deliver you from it your mother cannot deliver you from it but i see jehovah come to your help i see jehovah come to your help psalm 91 and the verse number one he said he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust he said surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence the bible said he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler receive the capacity to love god and to follow god as the water panted for the water brooks so panted my soul after thee oh god my soul thirsts for god and for the living god when shall i appear healing does not come from a pastor healing does not come from a man of god healing comes from god no human being is a miracle worker but god is the god of miracles i said no human being is a miracle worker but god is the god of miracles receive the ability to look unto god oh simon peter peter james john bartholomew thomas judas who do men say that i the son of man am they said some said you are jeremiah some said you are elijah some said you are one of the prophets some even said you are john the baptist jesus looked at them and said by you who do you say that i am and peter said thou art the son of the living god you are the christ the son of the living god jesus turned to simon bajona and said simon bajona flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you but my father who is in heaven some of you have been living in the midst of rumor you live in the midst of gossip you live in the midst of people's stories you live in the midst of what people are saying and that is why you are always afraid but tonight may you go into the stronghold of your prophecies may you go into the stronghold of what god has said about you and where god has said about you that is where your strength is that is where your power is what god has said what god has said it is written and that which is written is written and what god has said is written in the word in the bible heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall never pass away this word is profitable this word is profitable every scripture is given by inspiration of almighty god may god take you back to the more sure word of prophecy i am not talking about the prophecies of men i am not talking about the prophecies of prophets who don't know what they are saying i am talking about the prophecy the book the bible the word of god holy men of god were moved by god and they wrote it and no scripture shall fail as the lord said it it shall come to pass as the lord spoke in it he shall make it good because god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent as he said it and shall he not do it as he spoke it and shall not make it good receive the manifestation of the word of the living god anything god has said about you it shall come to pass he said you will be healed and you are healed he said i will bless you and you are blessed he said i will honor you and you are honored 
he said I am your glory and I am the lifter up of your head I see somebody crazy the word of the king where the word of the king is there is power may the angel of the Lord right now impede every messenger of Satan that is sent against any pastor of the church the family of any pastor in the church the elders of the church the deacons the finance committee projects committee all the heads, heads of department and their families and their relatives and their extended families may the angel of the Lord in the name of Jesus rise and defend God's people may God impede them may God frustrate them may God immobilize them and every member of the church any weapon of the enemy any false prophet any false diviner any sect any religion any philosophy any group of men that meet even if they meet in the name of Jesus and they lie that they are meeting in the name of Jesus but their purpose is to pray against you and prophesy against you let God arise and let his enemies be scattered let the angel of the Lord go on your behalf in the name of Jesus affliction shall not come the second time in your house affliction shall not come the second time in your business affliction shall not come the second time in your family in the church may God turn the heart of the people away from diviners and enchanters and fetish priests and liars in the name of the Lord Jesus may the Lord frustrate the tokens of liars anybody who is enchant enchanting against you may he get crazy by tomorrow morning may God in the name of Jesus Christ make them remove their clothing broad daylight in the name of Jesus any man any woman that seeks your head anyone that made, has made themselves a messenger of Satan in your house in the church may God make diviners mad whatsoever you bind on it shall have been bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on it shall have been loose in heaven what do you want what are you saying what do you want what do you want from God what do you want in the church what do you want tonight what are you believing God for do you want to be healed do you want to be delivered do you want to be protected do you want to be provided for do you want to be saved he confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messengers he saith unto Jerusalem thou shalt be inhabited your house shall be inhabited your store shall be inhabited your family shall be inhabited the church shall be inhabited your business shall be inhabited your ministry shall be inhabited thou shalt be inhabited and to the cities of Judah you shall be built may God build your house may God build your ministry may God build your family may God build your business thou shalt be built and I will raise up the decayed places thereof right now in the name of Jesus may God confirm the word of his servant may God perform the counsel of his messengers may God establish you may God cause Jerusalem to be inhabited may God cause your cities to be built may God raise up the decayed places thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto you ah and the Lord shall cause a light to explode in front of you come on say what do you want as a church what do you want as a family what do you want as a business what do you want as an institution when you are in the wilderness you ate the bread which was the manna but the devil knows that on the other side you will eat not manna but you will eat the bread from heaven in the wilderness in the desert they ate bread from the hands of a local boy but on the other side Jesus said I am the bread of heaven that came from heaven and the people were crossing over to the other side I want to tell somebody the reason for the turbulence is because you are going somewhere the reason for the heartache is because you are going somewhere the reason for the shaking the difficulty the reason why you feel you want to commit suicide at this particular time is because of where you are going the reason why it looks like you're walking on snakes is because of 
of where you are going uh, but i read my bible and it said uh, in my name uh, they shall cast out devils uh, they shall speak with new tongues uh, they will take up serpents uh, if they drink any deadly thing uh, it shall not hurt them uh, and i came to tell somebody that this sickness will not kill you what you are going through will not destroy you for no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that breaks against you in judgment you shall condemn it uh, and jesus told his disciples let us go over to the other side uh, and while they were riding on the boat uh, they saw jesus walking on the water and he was shining like a light uh, and they screamed uh, and they were afraid uh, and they said hey there is a storm here it is dark here everything is scary here but we see one person uh, who is walking on the water and the bible said they were troubled uh, and they were full of fear and they screamed and said it is a ghost it is a spirit ladies and gentlemen the world is shaking ladies and gentlemen the economies are shaking ladies and gentlemen devils are loose on the face of the earth diseases are coming on people and they cannot explain where the diseases are coming marriages are collapsing left right and center but i see somebody like jesus and you are walking on the water i see you walking on the water and i can see other people looking at you and they are saying it is a spirit they are saying you are a spirit we cannot understand how a human being can be walking in this but i say to somebody that you will recover from this sickness and they will say you are a spirit i see you in the midst of the economic meltdown and you are becoming a millionaire in the midst of the economic meltdown and they will say how come the boat is shaking how come there is a side there is a wind how come there is a storm and yet this man is surviving i see you survive what human beings normally don't survive i call it a supernatural flotation i see you walking on water i see you drinking poison and surviving i see you taking up serpents no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that wise against you in judgment you shall condemn it i see the spirit of god come upon you i see you carry an anointing i see somebody by supernatural flotation i see you walking on water i see you now the thing that killed other people cannot kill you the thing that destroyed other people cannot destroy you a thousand shall fall on your side and ten thousand on your right hand but it shall not come nigh you i see you walking on water i see supernatural flotation by your god you shall run through the truth and by your god you shall leap over the wall for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and whatsoever is born of god overcome the world and this is your victory that overcome the world even your faith no tribulation no death no famine no short no peril no things to come and no things present and no angels no principalities shall be able to separate you from the love of god i see you walking on the water by the holy ghost you shall survive by the holy ghost you shall survive by the holy ghost you will live i see you walking on the water i see you prevailing on the water i see you winning on the water come and clap your hands all you people and shout unto god with the voice of toyota you cannot take the word of god from me you can't take my faith from me you can't take my song from me you can't take my dance from me you can't take my worship from me i'm talking to somebody here today god has given you something and no principality no power no throne no dominion nothing from the pit of hell can take it out of your hand the thing is stuck with you your righteousness is stuck with you your favor is stuck with you the goodness is stuck with you the thing is stuck on your body is stuck in your soul is stuck in your spirit goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life you are irreversibly blessed by god
let something shake let something stir up stir up your spirit do something rise up like a man rise up like a woman you are a mighty man you are a mighty woman you are not weak let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need for we have a high priest that is passed into the heavens jesus the son of the living god for we do not have a priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like you and i were tempted alas made you free from sin made you free from sickness gave you rest from demonic oppression gave you rest from poverty from torment torture the demons are gone the pain is gone the torture is gone heaven came down and glory filled your soul your sin separated from you as far as the east is from the west now you can sleep no more nightmares no more chimpanzees and snakes and dogs chasing you no more human beings perceiving you in your dreams god has set you free spirit soul and body you are delivered somebody who is just trying to tell us that we are deviating our children want to be like 007 we ourselves want to be like oprah winfrey our churches are being fashioned and they look more like political parties than the church of our lord jesus christ but i tell you a time and the season the period for the redemption of the remnant is now and i tell you some churches will stand some believers will stand some preachers will stand and some men will stand some women will stand some people will say this way is a way of deviation we must go back to the original thing i don't want to be like chinua achebe i want to be like jesus i don't want to be like george washington i want to be like jesus i am not an incrumist i am a child of god i am a christian i seek to be like jesus you understand what i'm talking about today may god take the desires of our heart and realize Line us to seek after the truth one more time and many of us these days we don't travel to a convention we don't travel to a conference we don't travel to another nation to go and look for jesus we go to meet men of god people have got pictures of men of god in their rooms but they don't have the image of god in their heart we are not created after the image of men of god we are created after the image of god and anybody who has got the the pictures of a man of God in your room, the pictures of a man of God on your car, the picture of a man of God in your book, the picture of a man of God in your heart, you are deviated. I never saw man in the scheme of affairs for your salvation. I saw Christ in you, the hope of glory, not a man of God, not a preacher, not your pastor, not your bishop, not your apostle. I can't tell somebody we are not in the church because of a miracle we are not in a church because of a job i am not in a church because of a blessing i am not in a church because of some favor i am not in a church because of a breakthrough i am in a church that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto a dead like his that is why i'm in a church oh apostle oh prophet oh teacher oh pastor don't tell me about miracles i'm not looking for a miracle i'm not looking for signs and wonders i am looking for the king of kings i'm looking for the savior of my soul i'm looking for the lord of my life i'm not looking for an anointing i don't want an anointing i want the anointer i want the one who anoints i want the giver of the anointing i don't want the blessing i want the giver of the blessing i want god i want jesus as the god panted for the water brooks so panted my soul after god my soul tested for god for the living god when shall i come and appear before god oh i'm not like opera i'm not looking for things i am like ruth i am not 
like the sons of the prophets. I am like Elisha. We will follow Elijah until I see the glory. I see somebody here tonight. Your heart is turning. Your spirit is turning. Your mind is turning. Your soul is turning. Your focus is turning. I didn't come to smile like you, Pastor. Jesus is my goal. When you were witnessing to me, you didn't say I should come to you. You said if any man will come after Christ, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow Jesus. And when you told me to come, you advertised Jesus Christ. But now, Pastor, you are selling me a different product. Pastor, oh, this church, when I came to the church, you didn't tell me you are coming to promote yourselves. You didn't tell me that you are just going to use me to be popular when i came to this church all you told me is you are leading me to jesus but now i can see you are leading me to yourself you just want to be you want me to be like you but when i look at you you are just human i don't want to be like my pastor i want to be like jesus looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him and do on the cross and is set at the right hand on the throne of God. I don't want to hear the voice of a pastor. I want to hear the voice of Jesus. And I heard a voice behind me. And that voice was not the voice of a man of God. It was not the voice of a prophet. It was not the voice of an apostle. It was not the voice of a teacher. It was not the voice of an evangelist. It was the voice of Jesus Christ. I'm not saying apostles are not important. I'm not saying prophets are not important. I'm not saying evangelists and teachers are not important. What I'm saying is this it is somebody who made some and somebody made some and he made some so if I want somebody to follow I will not follow the apostle I will follow the one who made him an apostle I will follow the one who made him a prophet I will follow the one who made him a teacher that man of Galilee the prince of peace the Lord and my savior the government is on his shoulders he is the prince of peace I'm talking about a man that didn't come from the physical Galilee I'm talking about the prince from heaven I'm talking about the son of the living God I'm talking about the man that opened the windows of heaven and came down born in Bethlehem but of heavenly origin born by Mary but the son of God born in a manger but the earth could not contain him I'm talking about Jesus they gave birth to him and they washed him with water but he walked on water they gave him breast milk but the cattle on the thousand hills they belong to him I'm talking about Jesus my Messiah your Messiah my God your God my father your father the king of all the universe the king of the princes of the universe the prince of the kings of the head Jesus is his name the son of the living God the one that the wicked people took and they slew him nailed him on the cross slew him buried him but on the third day he broke the chains of heaven and broke the chains of hell and broke the chains of the earth and he said all chains are broken in heaven on earth and under the earth and hail oh power all authority is given unto me in heaven and on earth receive it right now the manifestation of the grace of the messiah on your life a man came from the when your landlord sacks you from a house may god give you a better house if the government take their car may god give you a better car if your wife refuse to give you food may god give you better food if your husband refuse to give you job money may god open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing my god shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by christ jesus i commanded i demanded a request from god that for every fountain gate chapel church may god bring finances may god bring a supply may god supply the need of every fountain gate pastors assembly in the name of the lord jesus christ every fountain gate chapel church may god open the windows of heaven and supply the needs of the house we prophesy it tomorrow about this time 
famine shall be ended we shall not depend on offering baskets we shall not depend on tithes and offerings but we will depend on the economy of heaven may your business be financed by heaven may your house be financed by heaven may your organization be financed by heaven wherever the doctor has failed may God take over wherever the lawyer has failed may the supreme advocate in heaven take over in the name of Jesus wherever the bank has failed you may God take over may every human failure on the earth uh, gravitate upon your life uh, divine assistance uh, divine provision uh, divine help uh, the devil knows what is coming the devil knows that after today no light off in your life your finances no light off your provision no light off your money no light off your spiritual life no light off your righteousness no light off come on scream like a voice is yours and press it shout like a voice is yours and thank him come on give him praise scream it i want to get some victory i want to hear somebody who understands the power of god who understands praise who understands that the man came from heaven come on shout Jump if you can jump. Jump if you can jump. Scream if you can scream. Shout if you can shout. Clap your hands if you can do it. Yeah! I can't hear you. Scream. Your voice is yours. There is power in the house. There is grace in the house. There is an anointing in the house. Come on, shout! Scream! 